اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین اللہم صل و سلم على حبیبنا المصطفی سیدنا محمد و على آلہ و صحبہ اجمعین My dear brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showering his infinite mercy on every one of us in this blessed month of Ramadan. No doubt about that. And my dear brothers and sisters, you can feel it. All of us can feel it. Alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant every one of us his rahmah, barakah, maghfirah, and i'tqum minan nar. Today, actually, 14th day of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. We start our episode with dua. Allah, please, we beg you to accept our fasting. We are fasting only for the sake of you. We do not have anyone but you. We are only begging for your rahma, maghfira, and idqum minan nar. We are insan created with many weakness. With that weakness, we are striving and struggling to fast for only your sake. Allah, we beg you to maqbool our fasting. Insha'Allah, my dear brothers and sisters, today we talk about seek protection from the hellfire and its punishment. Insha'Allah. We knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Jannat al-Firdaus. Last episode we mentioned that. And we are in the mood of begging for Allah's Jannat al-Firdaus. At the same time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created al-Jahannam or an-Nar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is arham rahimin all-forgiving, all-merciful God. His mercy is always above His punishment. We explained in our earlier episodes that Allah doesn't want to punish his servants. So it is our duty for begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his Jannatul Firdaus. At the same time, we beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the forgiveness of all our weakness. We do not want to be punished because of our weakness. We would have committed many major or minor sin in our life, my dear brothers and sisters. We knew that knowingly, unknowingly, we would have fallen or may we will fall again, we do not know. But we beg Allah the protection that Allah do not make us to fall again into any sin, major or minor. We must beg today onwards in these blessed days and nights of Ramadan, Allah protect me from the hellfire. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam created as the rahmatan lil alameen. He is the mercy for the entire mankind. We knew the fact. Alhamdulillah. And he is acting as a shield for every one of us, for us not to fall into Jahannam. Alhamdulillah. We strictly follow our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and always beg for the blessing, rahma and maghfira of Allah. Insha'Allah, Allah will protect us from the hellfire, my dear brothers and sisters. That is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een reported to have taught his companions that we must beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the protection of hellfire. And he prescribed many dua, many virid, many awrad, which are available in hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself taught us how to beg for the protection of hell and its punishment. Insha'Allah, we can take one or two hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Man sama yawman fi sabilillah. Whoever fast, whoever took fast or fasted fi sabilillah in the path of Allah a day. Whoever fasted a day in the path of Allah. It means every night before sahur, 
we would say nawaitu sawma ghadin lillahi ta'ala that lillahi ta'ala fi sabilillah in the path of allah if we fast one day sincerely if we fast one day sincerely for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ba'ad allah wajhahu 'anin nar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will move his face away from the hellfire. Will move his face away from the hellfire. Subhanallah. Sab'eena kharifan by a distance of 70 years. Subhanallah. My dear brothers and sisters, we don't want to read, we don't want to go and study more and more and more hadith to understand the beauty of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam's teachings about how to be protected from the hellfire. This one hadith is quite sufficient for all of us to remember and practice on basically on this hadith with its lessons, how it reflects to our life in the days and uh, nights of Shahar Ramadan, Alhamdulillah. So today we knew that if we fast at least one day, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed 30 days of fasting. But Rasulullah says here, one day if you fast sincerely, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep away your face from Jahannam and its punishment, subhanallah. So 70 years multiple to 30 days subhanallah so how distant we will be from hellfire subhanallah so by one ibadah itself allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promising us that he will protect us from the hell punishment and rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam taught us many dua for us to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the days, nights of Shahar Ramadan and also during the normal days as well, insha'Allah. Please try to study about all these teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Insha'Allah. One dua for us to practice daily. Allahumma ajirni minan nar. Allah protect me from the hell fire. Allahumma, O oh Allah, ajrni, protect me, save me, safeguard or save me, protect me from the hellfire. Allahumma, ajrni, minan nar. One dua that we can practice every moments, seconds and hour in our uh, Shahr Ramadan. And one more dua. Allahumma itiqini minan nar. Allahumma itiqini minan nar. Allah protect me from the hellfire. So these three hadith, I mean one hadith and two dua, I, I would like to share with you in today's episode. I repeat again, one hadith, importance of fasting a day for the sake of Allah, which is sufficient for us to be protected from the hellfire. One promise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked our beloved Nabi to give us. We accepted that. Alhamdulillah. And two du'as, Allahumma ajrni minan nar. Second du'a, Allahumma itiqni minan nar. These two things. And uh, insha'Allah, there are many uh, du'a and awrad. Insha'Allah, we, uh, in, we will share in the next episode. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq. We beg Allah, Allah protect me, my parents. Allah protect you and your beloved parents, your family, your children, and every Muslims in this universe. May Allah protect every one of us from the hell fire and its punishment. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.